I am for truth, no matter who tells it. I'm for justice, no matter who it's for or against. We're diving into podcasts and the way that like true crime podcasts have become part of our culture and for the sure. way that people have gotten news from them and the way they've changed the news. Right. I want I mean, are you guys podcast fans yourselves? I listen yeah, to a few. Yeah. I listen to a few. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, and um, you know, and I've even really pondered the thought of, of having my own podcast. Um hmm. it'd be a different platform, it wouldn't be a true crime mm. per se, but it'd be a different thing. But yeah, I mean I, the, the, the crazy thing is that there's so many ways to get information yeah. and who knows you have to really be trustworthy when right. it comes to the right. podcast that sure. you're doing yeah. because <laughs> it can be damaging you know and it's hard to take that damage back right once it's being right. already put out there and right. i think that's part of the point of the show Definitely. Is that, right you know you truth be told just because it's something you hear mm -hmm. on whatever you think is the news right. it doesn't mean that it's true or accurate She's delivering this information as she learns it mm -hmm. and may find out later on that what she delivered the last podcast was not actually true. Right. So it's, you right. know, you got, you got to right. be very careful. Right? Yeah. And as the audience, you uh -huh. don't necessarily consider these waves of how it's going to affect people. Absolutely. Right? How could a mother and two daughters sleep through such a violent encounter? And they never recovered the murder weapon. For me, this was just completely relatable mm -hmm. because it is about a real family and a real situation and a real crime and someone is in jail for a crime he didn't commit. Yeah. And yeah. Your podcast? I am. I'm yeah. a podcast. I like the true crime podcasts. Mm -hmm. I like them on a road trip. <laughs> The gorier, the better. The, Although yeah. this show has kind of ruined it for me. Yeah. I feel sort of guilty now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. There is that. It, as an audience member, you're kind of like, oh, wow. Like, I'm having this effect on these people yeah, whose lives right. are... Yeah, right. And you forget that yeah. they're real people. Exactly. Yeah. That's you're watching really what it. our show examines. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we're so used to, like, listening and wa or watching this, like, super violent fictional content. Right. And talking sure. about it with our friends that we just kind of do the same, but it's real people. Mm -hmm. And I, I do think people are thinking about that m more. Definitely. Than they were in the past. We're playing with people's lives. Are you ready for the consequences? You think all the secrets came out during the trial? You tell Parnell to back away. You messed with a family. It feels like old school storytelling. And I think that people get drawn into the idea of being ahead of the story, possibly solving a mm -hmm. crime. And it's a, uh, it, it, it creates these water cooler moments where everybody's talking about it and you could go back and forth. So it feels interactive on every level. Yeah, definitely. Ron, are you, have you listened, are you into any podcasts in particular? No, no. I'm finding out how popular they are now. <laughs> I, mean, I feel so antiquated yeah. at the moment, man, because I haven't like clicked into it yet, but some, I think by the time uh, this year is out, I'll be a podcast well, in some way or another. Yeah, and know? that is part of the appeal. You can catch up at any That's point. That's right. Yeah. It's, it's just right there. That's right. There is a monster inside every one of us. You terrify me. What about you? What's in there? We're talking about Apple TV and streaming services and how the media landscape has changed, mm -hmm. but how do you feel, do you feel that it's changed for you as actors? It's now. totally oh, changed. Yeah. <laughs> Completely different. Yeah. Do you Completely, feel like there's just more? There's so much that I can't watch it. I mean, there's I so much content now that it's sort of hard to, oh, there's this show and that show and this show and that show. Mm -hmm. I mean, back then there was sort of more of a, oh, there's this one great show yeah. and everybody was watching it. And now there's maybe 15 great shows that everybody's watching. <laughs> yeah, so it's hard to get noticed. It's a noticed. crowded feel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a crowded feel. I didn't yeah. think about that. It feels like there's so much content, but there's yeah. also... Just, it, I, I would argue too much content uh -huh. because then you really, you fuck, I stumble upon these shows like, those are famous actors yeah. in this right. show. It is season three and you I've have never, never heard seen of it. It's show. nuts. Oh, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Well, and I would assume there'd be an increase too in like working with colleagues and being like, yes, I caught your last show. I, yeah. It's harder right. to do. And you're you like, can't. I don't know who, what <laughs> yeah. it's called or what network it's on. I know, it's yeah. really, it's a yeah. bit overwhelming. Yeah. You have no idea what I've done with my daughters. Families, they take care of each other. 